Welcome to a new tutorial on the town center map. Again, using Quincy as a hero. As usual, if you want to change the hero, you need to change the start. But if you want to just use the main towers I used to kill the later rounds, you can. So, um, placement on this map is not too important. You see a few things and a few tricks to get the placement. But for now, as usual, Quincy goes down and we're going to start with a tank shooter. As usual, tank shooter in the corner. Obviously, any map that has a loop, I'm pretty much going to use a tank shooter. There's zero reason not to use a tank shooter when there's a loop. So, we get our 000 tank shooter and we take it to a 202 tank shooter. This does um, a lot of damage in the corner and Quincy and the tank shooter can go for quite a while. If you do like how this game starts, I start a lot of my tutorials this way. Again, going in with the boomerang monkey. This is a great early tower monkey and also becomes a great late tower monkey. We take it all the way to 502 in the end, but for now, we'll go with 202 just to take out the, um, the leads when they come. So this is our main start. And... Um, it can actually go for quite a while if you just get a few more upgrades in each tower. But the one thing this doesn't have is camo. And I will address that in a bit. But you don't really get any bad camo rounds. Or 38. They're some of the harder rounds. So for now we just um, continue upgrading. We get 203 and 302 on the attack shooter and boomerang respectively. You can, you can see how well the boomerang does on rounds 27. The one just before leads. And um, the leads go down very easily. Um, one of the points I wanted to make in my other tutorials is that Quincy is there. And I use Quincy because it's the first hero you get. Quincy is by no means the best hero. But because I use her, I do change my tactics. Because I wouldn't be able to do this amount of camo damage. And you probably have to switch up for a ninja or something. Here we have a wizard monkey 302 to help the um help Quincy. But if you did do it without Quincy, you would have to change that. So moving into round 40, there's only I think one more main upgrade I need to do. And that's um on the tank shooter to get it all the way to 204. Or I think it's called overkill. Um overdrive. There you go. And um this can do round 40 by itself i mean you'll see it do round 40 by itself and uh that's one of the harder rounds for um a impalpable run without without knowledge because it's like chimps but obviously more expensive so um as long as you get round 40 done you're pretty much secured to beat round 100 especially on this tutorial I i'm really uh, confident with the end so um, we get a village to get camo for everyone because we do get some bad camo rounds in the uh, in the 40s. So now everyone can do camo. It's really no worry. Here are my speed. I've sped up a bit more, so um, we can get um, 205 on the tank shooter because we're just saving up at this point. And um, the tank shooter, if you do watch my videos, is very highly used, but it also requires two villages. So you have to use it wisely and you will see on some of the tutorials in the later where there's not a loop, um, you won't see a tank shooter. So here we get tank shooter um, and we're kind of just saving money again until we buy. Now this is done to placement. So the if you want to freehand it, you can try because I don't actually use the bomb shooter until the end but I need to make sure you have a bomb shooter and then the village above it just giving the bomb shooter a much better like range it can see because it's actually very important in the end and I'll tell you why when we upgrade it but a 402 on the village at the top is mainly for the primary monkeys and works very well um just in the middle here I'm gonna ask you you know if you like the video like it and if you enjoy these videos and want to see some of my other videos where I'm actually making more content, 
and subscribe. If you have any queries, join the Discord or comment, both in the, the description. Well, one of them's in the description. Um, here we get Arcane. Arcane's just a very powerful unit. Um, I think by the end, it's like my third most um, damaging unit. And it's so cheap. It's like, what, 15k or something overall? Uh, great card to use. Again, here we're saving up. So just take a break. You know, do something you want to do. The rounds, it's like 78. It's about 10 rounds, but it takes quite a while. So this is on about, I think, 500%. So about five times speed. Um... So it does take a while, but you're very comfortable through these. It doesn't even get past the um, tank shooter. So, um, yeah. Now, we get Glaive Lord. And remember, I should have said this at the start, but remember, you can buy upgrades whenever they're ready. You don't have to buy them when I buy them. As soon as you get the money, get the next upgrade. I do it this way to make it clear in the videos and to make the editing a little bit easier. I buy them in bunches and um, it really works uh, well for the videos. So here we get 502 Boomerang, does loads of damage to Moabs, Ceramics. Ceramics is the main reason I have it, but obviously again, loads of damage to Moabs. And again, you have to use it on a loop. You won't see that card too often unless you get a perfect loop, and then you will see it. So we get the Alchemist, again if you watch any of my other tutorials. No reason not to get it. 031 does so much damage to Moabs for like 3 4k. If you're using it on any, you're doing chimps, you're doing half cash, you're doing impoppable, you're doing ABR, just get it. Like one of the best towers. Now, before round 90, I have to remind you always to get Mib. And then we get Balloon Crush on the um, bomber from earlier. Now, this is one of the tactics I saw and I came up with recently to really take out the sarans that um, are a problem and its position comes down to killing the ceramics in the best position do we want to kill the ceramics basically on the tank shooter because that's where the most damage is done because you're getting hit by the tank shooter and the boomerang so round 94 goes round 95 just as easy and we only really have one more tower upgrade so, um, as you can see, looking at the damages, it's only there for a split second, but the boomerang has done so much damage. And uh, it's really an underrated tower. So, finally, we can get primary expertise. And uh, there's actually one more tower I did forget to get for around 100, because um, this does great to ceramics, but it doesn't do great for round 100. The uh, bad. So, um, as you can see, 98 is actually taken out pretty easily. And we get the final tower, a um, 203 Super Monkey. It'll only do about 4-5k to the um, bad. But 4-5k is enough to kill it with, you know, enough distance to still get a lot of damage from all of my towers and win the game. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And peace.